Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Trails Through Daybreak Part 110. In the previous video, we met up with our boy Maxim Lugan, who's uh, not really our boy and you can't see him on screen, but he's here in spirit. We're trying to help him find a picture because uh, if he told us who he's looking for, uh, the quest would just end. So uh, let's go fight a monster. There it is. That's the tree. I'm sure of it. Is the capsule buried under that stone then? So what, there's some monument for brain dead lovebirds? How dare you? It's under that monument, but still. It's just dis disgracing the state park, the national memorial. You're just gonna start digging under it for your own benefit? Yeah, okay. I, I see you. What's that sound? Get back, champ. Ah, big spider in the forest. I've seen this before. A giant spider! It's the SSS. One giant spider and six smaller ones. I suspect they'll be a force to be reckoned with. Uh, I have the Genesis right here. Uh, there's no need to hold back against it. Just wear it down some and leave the rest of- Oh, yeah, we wanted to transform. I was like, why do we need the Genesis? I'm just gonna hit the S-Craft button. Bomb by me, leave it to us. Here goes. <laughs> Does have a, 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 a decent right little bit of H-Pizzle on him. And not having any SP on, or CP on Van slightly sucks. But he's, he's getting it back. He'll be fine. Activating drive. Yeah, yeah, get his ass. Get his ass. I'll take care of them. I'll take care of them. Going all in. You are weak to wind. Well, this is when I would cast my good wind spell if I had one. Don't screw with me! Here it goes. Stop right there. 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 Uh, my button. Yes, it did nothing. Well, go time. I'll crush them all at once. It. It. Blink and you'll miss it. I don't know if that was hitting all of them. I think we missed one of them. Got a whole slew of them. I just want this. Eh, eh. Can you hit him? Good luck. This'll no. hurt. I can't tell if you're hitting the big one. Yeah, you are. But are you? No, you are. Here's our chance. You're still alive? How? I guess you didn't get clipped by the magic. Let's party! I didn't even realize you had zero. Stop right there. A chance. There. A oh, yes. A chance. Got a whole slew of them. Great. Here goes. You, you bro- oh god, you're, you are almost done. You're all still alive? Really? Brace yourself! You're stunned! Here's our chance! Unleashing full strength! Oh. Nice! Moving on up! I did it! I guess he did have a, heart, a large amount of HP for a random monster. How is it still moving? Get back behind us. Van, are you ready? Don't really, don't really need it. We were kind of winning. We were actually about to kill it, but whatever. Count on you guys. Uh, start the recording, Fio. I'll back you up however I can. With this gun. Uh, please be careful, Van. I, I think we're fine. And 
And Maxim's like, hey, is this really the time to be, you know, trying out experimental stuff? Can't you just kill it? What in Adeus' name is he doing? Why are y'all just standing there? There's no way you can take much more of this. Uh, them's the rules. We know that. Just shut up and watch. Mr. Arkwright will be just fine. We believe. Also, should we really be transforming in front of this guy? Oh, God, it's above. Please keep him safe. Like, I just, I feel like that's kind of a... I mean, it's not like we really have to keep it secret, per se, because so many people know about it already, but it does feel like it's something we shouldn't just let the random civilian, who's also a big loudmouth, know about. This is it. Uh, phase space expansion confirmed. Motherfuckers well, just make up anything nowadays. Phase space expansion. That's not real. You just made that up. We're inside too? Save for Mr. Lugan, it would seem. Well, not a quinky dink. I mean, he's still gonna presumably see. He's gonna be even more freaked out. He's gonna have a heart attack on the spot. Perhaps it's like the combat links used in the Empire or an application of the SELM system? You call and I answer! Uh, what's going on? Am I really getting summoned to squish a bug? You guys that week or. Mare! She finally shows up. She really is cute. A hologram? No, it's more like our collective unconscious is being hacked through spiritual resonance. You made that shit up. That's not real. Indeed, she appears to be an AI powerful enough to perform the vast calculations that would require. They just been a lot of close calls in the past, but I guess this is our first chance to have a proper talk. What are you, Mare Bear? And why do you have a sense of self like this? Why do you have a sense of self? Huh? What? There was nothing to stop us hearing what she said, but even then I couldn't comprehend it. Cthulhu ass AI. Indeed. I remember reading about this phenomenon in the courts on Crossbell in the Empire. Ah, uh, this is so annoying. What's this? Are you recording what's happening here? You're always being recorded. That's right, we prefer not to have to go through this every time we want to see you. So we were hoping there was a way to recreate the process and better control the Grindel without deliberately exposing Van to danger. I see. You humans do think of some fascinating ideas. Even if your methods are a little primitive. You're primitive. Fighting right, words for a fun-sized pimp squeak. Uh, you watch your mouth, redhead! Uh, this is no time for fighting? Did you see the monster in the background? I mean, we were- it, it was the time for fighting. It kind of still is. So you can do it, right? Please, Miss Mayor, we need your help. And now we've tacked on this? Well, whatever. What is she gonna do again? Just be careful. Using it too much will cause- I mean, I guess just transform him, but... We don't really need to do that. As long as you're mindful of that, go ahead and decipher the recreation process from your logs later. Yeah, exactly. Well then, Van. Will you bear the nightmare? Or not? Actually, in this case, no. I will. Don't don't really need to. Oh, you gotta, you gotta bear that nightmare, though. I'll bear it. These fragile chains guide me to this realm, where I am now made manifest. I do kind of wish we picked a bigger monster for this than fucking spider <laughs> that was already half dead. I am both the nightmare and the beast that devours it. This Grinder, Grindel. So he gets like a more impressive transformation sequence than he did originally <laughs> to fight a spider <laughs> right i guess you were just fighting some goons <laughs> you did it van 
But at least we were like level four back then. Really, no, no maximum commentary of uh, what the fuck? Oof out chow cheese. Hey, uh, shut up, man. You're not, you're not allowed to talk. Okay, that was, that was not part of the friggin' deal. Oh, you did get full healed. Uh, how do we, how's this, how do we do this? Yeah, last one was very unimpressive, man. I'm gonna be completely honest. I did not do shit. Do we need to talk? Keep your guard up. Activating drive. Um. Keep it up. It's working. Activate. Let's do a second Laporte. Yeah. Got you. Here's our chance. Initializing drive. Catch him. Here goes. That was very unimpressive. I mean, I know you're not buff, but come on, buddy. You can definitely do better than that. Activating drive. Balls in your court. Yeah. Yeah. Spider pride. Here's our Damn right. Never be ashamed of your spider pride. Initializing drive. Okay, you're about to be stunned. What if you guys just always have my boost gate limit your limited removal? What if it was just removed by the fall? Wouldn't that be pretty cool? That'd be pretty cool. I think that'd be pretty cool personally. Uh, I'll take that. Why did this do such a little damage? Let's party! I mean I guess your arts aren't really buffed. Still, I would have expected more than like 2k. Your court. Oh, you're not buffed. I'm going. Unleashing full strength. I won't stop here. I leveled up. We found a Zer. Don't act exhausted. You didn't do anything. Man, are you okay? Yeah, I'm exhausted. I'm not hurting. Too much of a workout for the old bones, huh? Shut up. How did it work? Did Maxim get eaten? <laughs> Off screen while we're focused. Looks like I recorded everything just fine. We can work on analyzing as soon as we get back. I'm sure there won't be any issues with the recording. Like, it's not gonna, you know, be corrupted or there's nothing in it. Uh, what are you? I don't know, some sort of, I mean, you know, Grendel type thing. We'll keep quiet about your business. So, we'd be sure appreciate if you keep quiet about ours. But I don't wanna. Anyway, nothing in the way now is how we get to the treasure hunt. Right, I'll get right on that. I do like that we're making him dig. This isn't it. Not here either. Yeah, it's to face the national park. Here it is. Found it. Oh, Maxim and oh man, what's that now? Is that like a P? Looks to have been made of a corrosion resistant alloy. I mean, it's only been eight years. 
Nice. Oh, that just says PO. Oh. Maybe I am getting bait and switched, which I would actually kind of appreciate, but. It could be Polet. There's Maxim's name there too. But the one below it. I finally found it. Wow. I look so young in this picture. And she also could be technically going by a different name. Which honestly, that's what they should have done. Because her changing her first name just because she doesn't want him to find her would not be that crazy. Or going by a different first name. So you could have had him say the name to, as like a, you know, bait and switch. There she is right with me. <laughs> I could never forget her face. Um... That has to be dot dot dot, unless it couldn't. Not them. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, uh, what? What is it? Why are you all reacting like that? What are the odds of this? Anya's... Is your pocket glowing? Is this the plot at work? Everything we've been told about the woman in question does match. You don't even know the Yume's age. Wait. You don't all happen to know Paulette, do you? No, we know Paulette. Don't just go silent on me. Say something! All done? Well, aren't you such a good girl, Yume? Yume. So that's her name. Come to think of it, your eyes are the same color as hers. I wouldn't know. Would have been a better twist if she was someone else's kid. N no, it would not! Hope we did the right thing by telling him where she lives. I have my doubts too, but it's not as though she's married. But like, come on, I really do hate to be the Luga defender, but it just it does feel kind of cruel to like be like, no, you can never know where your child is. I'm not sure how we could have talked our way out of telling him after our reactions earlier. Can't believe the diva of the diner used to date this guy. Well, sorry for not living up to your standards. I really do appreciate your help finding her, though. Now, in theory, if you were to start getting, like, pushy, then we could, you know, send him to go live with the spider. But, I don't know. I can't really bring myself to be that mad about the idea of wanting to see your, you know, child that you didn't know you had. But where is Paulette? I don't recall seeing her earlier, either. Maybe buying extra stuff? Sounds about right at this time of day. Bio's helping her, so I'm sure she still needs to go out herself sometimes. Oh, you'd be surprised just how much of a help that little one has been. It's okay, his glasses will disguise him. She'll never recognize him. Uh, how long have you been standing there? Huh. I was just over at Brenda's store buying some extra seasonings. Oh. So you don't recognize him. He's got his glasses on. <gasps> also, don't look at his name tag. Hey, it's, um, I, uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't know what the play here is. There's like two ways you could do it. A, you could pretend you don't know her and let it be up to her to decide what to do like put the ball in her court um it's going for it huh it, it, it's been a while hasn't it that's possibly the worst thing you could have done Definitely the like the worst sentence I think you could well not the worst sentence but definitely like the low lower percentile of uh, sentences. 
or tire. Ah, do we have ourselves a new customer? Yes. See, that's it's nice to meet you. I'm Paulette, an employee at this bistro. I think that's probably the way to handle it, at least initially, right? Like, you know, you act normal and then maybe extend an offer of or hope you get extended an offer to come back and then you can work from there. But I think just randomly showing up and being like, hey, let's have an intense conversation about our past and future. It's maybe a bit much. So you must be a friend of Van's? Rest in peace. Her reaction comes as no surprise, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you could say that. Sorry. It looks like I mistook you for someone else. I, I suppose I should get out of your hair now. I'll wire you your mirror as soon as I get a chance. Maxim? Sorry to bust your bub when you're trying to play it cool, but you leaving your Leno here? <laughs> it's an excuse to come back. I can see you've had quite the busy day. It's almost time to close up shop for the day, but if you haven't eaten yet, you're welcome to come in for something. Uh, are you sure about that? Of course. Monmar's doors are open to anyone and everyone. You're all welcome to come in too, of course. I'll go hop in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, this food tastes so good, and yet strangely salty. <laughs> Paulette. Huh? Uh, what is it? Well, nothing, but... Hey! What you crying for, mister? He's in for a long ride if that's anything to go by. There might be a light at the end of the tunnel for him, though. Even if he will have the will to keep proving his sincerity to earn it. True, but if he can, I'm sure everything will work out for the best. And I do think, I mean, honestly, so to speak personally for a second, this is actually something very similar to what I went through uh, from a kid's perspective. Um... Because my mom and dad were never married and kind of split up when I was like too young to really remember. But when it got older, my dad kind of got his life together some when I was maybe like 10 or so. The way I got introduced to him was my mom saying she was going to visit like a friend from high school. Or there was like some sort of get together. And, you know, met him. And it wasn't until basically we were leaving after kind of already being introduced and not having that very awkward feeling of like, oh man, I'm going to meet, you know, my father for the first time or like the surprise of it, like in front of them, it was just when we were driving back that I got told um, and was kind of able to like process it in, in my own, like more like isolation. Like it wasn't nearly as awkward as I think it would have been. If you get like the, you're told, hey, let's go meet your dad, or you just randomly meet them. Like, you know, if they'd started like having a conversation out in the front of the store and Yume overhears that, like, I think that would have been harder to process. But I do actually really like the way this has been presented. All right, then, it's another job well done. Betty earns a boatload, so better get ready to pay up. You know, no matter how damn good a race car driver he is, I'm not so sure I want to accept him as Yume's dad. Eh, it doesn't hurt to be happy for people, Van. I might be with him here. I've only just met Paulette, but I can tell she's a lovely woman who deserves only the best. All the regulars downstairs love her, too. Been in her debt for years myself. I mean, she doesn't have to take him back, per se. I mean... I just think of it more as the perspective of the child. Like, I feel like the kid kind of deserves to know. As long as he's not like a complete and total piece of shit. Which, he's not. I mean, even if we just, you know, 
put aside my ribbing about him flirting with the 14 year old which is very gross but I don't think the game sees it as the way I do uh, so I can't imagine it'll be easy for him to get back on her good graces so I'll just sit back and watch smugly till he does yeah he should suffer a little for all he's done they really gonna have his work cut out if he wants the old man and the kid to welcome him into their lives too I think you all need to be a little more forgiving of others. God, I'm freaking agreeing with Anya. Well, I don't know. I mean... Fio, why are you invisible? Changing the subject, however, we certainly had some interesting develops on another front, didn't we? Didn't we ever? Even if it feels like the number of questions that need answering has only increased. Well, we've had dinner and we got plenty of time left before we need to call it a day. You mind getting a work catcher? Not at all. This is our time to shine. I think there should be enough data to narrow down the triggers to making Mare appear. If you give me a hand, I should be able to have the job done by tonight, even. I would be delighted to. I have a wireless network set up already, so that should help. Getting yourselves all set up here while one looking, huh? I think that's a good thing. We can't rely on Rin for every little thing, after all. Dear God, don't let her move in, too. We can't have another teenager, man. I just don't expect me to work as fast as she does. I don't think I have that in me. The infamous Kitty is extraordinarily capable as a hacker. No ordinary operator could hope to compare. Well, you might as well be using some kind of magic to me. As long as they're willing to do all that work, I'm not even going to think about it. Let's see the tech to the pros. Think you'd better turn into the Grendel without putting yourself in mortal danger? In theory, it should be possible. Looks like Anya's being in the vicinity with at least one Genesis is a mandatory condition, though. So far, you've constantly been putting yourself in serious danger just to transform and help us win. So I sincerely hope there's some way for you to transform without having to resort to that. And we should be conscious of what Mare said about not relying on the Grindel too much. I'll do what we can to support you so that you don't have to. I won't let you always shirter, mo shirter? shoulder most of the burden yourself. I won't either. I'm going to keep trying to get stronger so I can help more. Don't I actually care how much danger you have to put yourself in, but I'm not down to have you always steal our thunder. Once you are designed to support you, and then opposed to you exposing yourself to unnecessary risk from the start. Says the lady who blew herself up. I'm inclined to agree. After what Mare said, I think this is something you should absolutely only use against the strongest of opponents. Like a half-dead spider. Fine. The more people who come work for me, the less I feel like I'm the one in charge. Do you have something else you want to say? Nothing. I love children, and they boss me around. Man, someone's whipped. Oh, by the way, we still don't have any idea why we couldn't understand some of what Mare was saying, right? Uh, it's called the plot. They do it sometimes. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. I'm being gracious enough to let hey, you remember a ten hand. minutes ago? <laughs> I was sure we wouldn't cause We heard what she was saying, but it was more like our brains couldn't process it or something. That's how I would put it. It's almost as if we were listening to an audio recording and part of it was replaced by noise. Yeah, kind of creepy for being real here. It was like we came dangerously close to one of this world's many secrets. Sorry, just forgot I said something so silly. I'm clearly read one too many books. I don't think it was silly at all. If anything, it sounds right. I think it's a possibility we ought to keep in mind. Yeah, for sure. Maybe a client? Is this the plot? Anya, check your pocket. Oh, I got through! Whew. I was worried I didn't have the right number. That sounds like... Ashen? Wan Shang Hao! Good evening, guys! It feels like I haven't talked to you in ages. Uh, good to see you again, Ashen. It really is. What are you calling about? 
Decided to give up on sound, go over this old fart instead. I mean, Sal's Sal older than him, but of course not. You shut up, Aaron. Hope he hasn't raising too much of a ruckus over in Edith, by the way, especially when it comes to women. Uh, about that, Van is cursed. He does come home smelling like perfume sometimes. What can I say? I like getting to know people. Can we be serious for five minutes around here? Also, I'm five years younger than Sal, you know? God, Sal's almost dead. That's crazy. I can't believe you know at the top of your head. Yeah, that is kind of weird. <laughs> also, sorry to know, but uh, sorry to ask, but I don't think we've met before. I assume she is connected to Heiyue in some manner. Oh, Aaron did mention you have some new part-timers. I'm Ashin Lu, and I am indeed part of one of the families of Heiyue. Wait, your new part-timers are a maid and a pretty boy? Our God Solutions never settles for average, does it? Our cast is a colorful one, yeah? So, what's this all about? Sal causing cr trouble again? I wouldn't say that. He's as busy as always. I, and actually, I didn't call you on behalf of Heiyue today. This message is from several others, too. Really, now? What message? Baba had the chance to talk to a few other important people with different affiliations the other day. And apparently the topic ended up shifting to you guys, and they agreed to do a little something special for you. Oh no, we're gonna go fucking whack, man. You know, for all you've done for the people of Longport, Tarbot, and Basel. Consider it a special thank you gift from everyone. Is this our beach episode? Hang on a minute. The important people you're talking about wouldn't happen to be... Mm-hmm. I'm calling on behalf of Elzheim's Crown Prince Sharid, the Basel Institute of Science's Professor Hamilton, the Kowloon Group's Fan Lu, and one other individual, whose name I will not disclose, to extend you an invitation. We're getting fucking whacked, man. They all want you to spend two nights at the five-star Hekizan Rowan in the Eastward Hot Springs Paradise of Long Lai. Your tickets should arrive shortly. And then you'll die. Special delivery! Definitely not why I thought we'd be going to Long Lie, but... Kinda makes sense. If especially it's meant to be an intermission, like us kinda just going to go and not really having a specific goal in mind. Or mission. Wait, there's just more to this than it seems. We've really been real busy lately. Would be a good chance to get some R and R. Yeah, and you can get your ass kicked by Sword Lady. Man, Long Lost sure brings back some memories. Like having her kick Van's ass, like I'd be okay with that. I just, why can't she just be thirty, man? Just make her old. The idea that she's like as it just it still rubs me the wrong way. I'm just not even like a Reen defender. I'm not even like the one of the Reen super fans. It just felt so disgraceful. Because there's no way she should have anywhere near the experience. It just it doesn't make any damn sense. But if she was like 10 years older than him, it, it would be more viable. Because it's like, okay. She's better, but she's had longer to get there. Much longer. Your mindset is very different from that of others. It has long convinced you that there is no place for you in this world. And that is, from my perspective, proof positive that you still have so much to learn. I'm a, I'm a teenager. That's about a fault. For everything in this world is connected. I'm sure you will one day come to that realization yourself with enough first-hand experience. I always tried to pretend he was normal, but he was anything but. Wish I know how to avenge him, but that chance is long gone now. Well, I mean, was he not the guy on the motorcycle? <laughs> does, does Van not know, or is that just another dude who looks very similar? <laughs> Those long line wouldn't be a bad place to visit to pay my respects, since I can't get over to his grave. We could use a break about now, too. Anyway, guess I'll go wander around for a while before turning in. Gonna be away for three days. I want to make sure everything's in order before we head out. 
Okay. Well, we got a little time to keep keep on trucking. Was it this late? I know, man. Oh, why hello? Money me, me needing a lot of money now. You can't eat if you don't work. If you're not gonna help out with the store, then don't bother coming back home. Fine, I'll go and live my life all by myself. There, with what money? Fuck, she got my ass. I need to want me around anyway. What was that? This old hag can't hear you. Nothing. Like you always asking me to clean my room and do the dishes. God, it's like I'm living it under tyranny. You again, get off my back. What's your deal, dude? This is my neighborhood too. You saying I got a right to be here? He's right and I freaking hate it. He's killing my vibe here. I'm so sorry. I wish I could get him to stop causing so much trouble. He's not as destructive as he used to be at the very least. If only listen to what this old lady has to say, I can rest easy at night. Looking is always free, you know. Ooh, it is. We do love free things, as they say. Come back for more <laughs> anytime. Well? A little runt from the church and following me everywhere. Didn't have the chance to buy groceries because she was tailing me. I got the feeling she'll be back tomorrow. What am I going to do with her? At least Brenda's gotten herself sorted out. Got that other boy to babysit too in all likelihood. Mr. Hawker's back. Harry and Sheena are really having fun. I love when everyone's smiling. It makes me happy. I want to play with them tomorrow and the day after that and then and then and... A dad! Oh, it's good to see you again. How you been, bud? Uh, I've been okay. Oh, but check out Zeros though. They're this AI and they can speak and they're super amazing. Well, actually, they can't speak. They can go wolf. I see. <laughs> Got a lot to catch up on from the sounds of it. Want to hear all about it, Harry. Let's hit the baths, okay? You got it. Dad, do you eat dinner? Want me to make you an omelet? Uh, well, goodness, Harry, since when did you learn to cook? I leave for a month and my boys are all grown up. I've missed so much. M Mr. Hawker, it's been forever since I saw you. Hey, uh, Sheena, sorry I've had to saddle you folks with Harry for the whole month. It's okay, we got along fine. Got kind of tough sometimes, but I'm a big girl now, so I can handle it. Leave for a month and Sheena's a completely different girl. Kids these days, <laughs> they grow up so fast. I uh, guess who's got some souvenirs for you? Let's head on back, okay? I'll walk you home. I'm sure my mom and dad want to say hi too. Don't forget to hit the baths, so don't go to bed uh, stinking, you sneaky boy. Oh, dearie me, I nod up to sleep for just a little bit and the whole day slips away. Best head on home now. Nights like these are when I feel the loneliest, but then winter is on the horizon too. Damn, I should warm myself back up with some hot borscht from Montmart, hmm? I think they're closed. They can't, they can't stay open all the time. It's nights like these where I can't help thinking back on a lot of things, really. That's the best to take my mind off things. Take a quick nap. What do you mean, take a quick nap? You nap the whole day away. Head to Montmartre for their borscht is lovely this time of year. Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. They really shut up with that camera in Basel's Vern Plaza. It just doesn't take pictures. It can record live video too, like broadcast equipment. I hear about this little store with some killer deals. I wonder if I can snag one of those cameras for cheap. Video's really, really big for me. If I can get my own video recorder, I can make my own films. And then you can just drop off Vegas films and be like, hey, I made a movie, please distribute it. I'll, I'll take a check of $1 million, please. Wait, wait, you wanna go to Basel? Seriously? I do, I wanna go to the Basel Institute. I wanna do the kind of work that Catra's doing. I can learn more about engineering and take classes with professors and make new things and I can sell the stuff I make and the burn company will hire me and then I'll do interviews and take over the world. On second thought, scratch that. I'm too far gone. I can't talk with normies like that. I'll just, I'll just die. Baby steps here, baby steps. Just focus on the smaller things for now. 
Rebecca took this online ex entrance exam thing for Basel University? She got a perfect score, which is a waste because she's never going to Basel University. Now, of course, setting foot outside her house, and she hasn't done that in 10 years. Think about the Basel Institute a lot. How cool it would be to study there. I wish I could just pack my bags and go right now. I'd have to see people and talk to them, and, well, I mean, they're all weird nerds, too. Now, they may try and talk to you, but, you know, just give them a noogie. It's not happening. Just thinking about it because you want to curl up and hide. Um, need something fixed. Do we want to buy anything or do we want to, like, a schlatt? I mean, we could buy the verses. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to. Well... Uh, we don't really need them, but we do have them equipped, and really all it does is make the combat faster. It's not like we're really in any danger. Hope to see you again soon. Oh, I thought it would do the story thing we went upstairs. Paula, are you guys closing up shop for the day? Or really, I thought the story thing was just us talking to our computer to go to bed, but... Uh, Yume... Okay, uh, you, is there something I should know about Yume? Is she a ghost? Are you a ghostly? Is this a ghost... ghost in... Uh, ghost... Oh, God. We had a really good day today. Lots of customers. But if you want anything, just let me know. We're still... Be open for a bit longer. Okay, I thought you guys were, like, past closing. That's why dude was eating in here alone. Right, I'll let you know, um... No need to say anything, Van. It's okay. Thanks for looking out for me and Yume. I really appreciate it. It caught me off guard seeing him, but I don't regret it. I'm glad we got to sit down and talk. Alright, if you're so sure. If he starts giving you trouble, let me know and I'll deal with him. Doesn't look like he'll be a nuisance, I think, anyway. Not from how he was acting, at least, so... Maybe I don't gotta worry about it after all. Uh, thank you, but I uh, don't think you do. He's making sure to put my and Yume's feelings first. That's a private. Did you and your old man know anything? Not yet. I plan to talk to them soon. It won't be an easy conversation to have with either of them, especially Yume. I'm a little worried about her. Eh, gotcha. Should I be too young for that kind of talk? That's what I'm thinking too. I might stick with my dad about it first, but I don't know how to approach it yet. I might have an idea. Well, if you two are up for it. Well, said what she think. What I think needs to be said. The rest is up to her. Back to patrol, and I go. Kitty cat, kitty cat, baker's match. I just finished analyzing Mare's data. Yang seems quite interested in how hollow cores worked as well. Thought I had an idea of typical construction and assembly, but Mare's is a framework I've never seen before. Sorry to take up all your time with that. Really owe you one. Uh, no problem. Learning more about her and hollow cores in general fascinates me. The project was well worth my time. Taking the nightly rounds again tonight. Now you're markedly different than how I imagined you'd be. You're more serious, I suppose. Nah, I just like waiting until night to start screwing around. Besides, nights when they show all the juicy shit in the theaters you can't see during the day. <laughs> Mashi uncut. And I take back what I just said. At any rate, I should have Mare fully analyzed tonight. That's still on schedule. Have you guys tried looking at the video yet, or...? <laughs> Wolf. Xeros uh, is charging right now. Could have fooled me. Looks like he's just sitting there. You ain't connected to anything. Got a wireless charging thing? That's that big? How is it November already? It started getting really cold all of a sudden. Why don't you head back inside then? I don't do paid sick leave, so don't go catching a cold on me. I do like that my jokes about Van 
workplace be on a hellhole or like actually cannon? <laughs> uh, fine. I've just been thinking to myself a lot. My brother's words are floating around in my head. Stuff about having what it takes. Yeah, but I'm not gonna let it get me down. I know I have the heart of a real Krugel warrior. Nothing else, nothing anyone says can change that. I just have to be strong enough that even my brother respects me. If I keep working hard and getting stronger like I'm already doing, I'll be that full-fledged warrior, just you watch. That's the spirit, kiddo. Ain't always bad to have a chip on your shoulder. Just don't go pushing yourself too hard over it. Yeah. Yeah, don't go turn to the dark side, fairy. Response. Anger. Calculating motive. Annihilate. Uh, this ain't going anywhere. Just leave him alone, alright? Can't exactly reason with cats. You poke your nose in there and you'll just get a sense to cause a commotion. Understood. Fire will moderate voice volume at night so as not to disturb local felines. <laughs> well? He looks like a bush with his hair on end. Guess this is his turf and he wants us gone? Suffered greater than expected time loss while collecting laundry. Now updating cat database with metadata tag sensitive. I mean, yeah, cat sees some weird robot thing as neighborhood cat flips out. But hey, maybe they'll get used to you. What are Phylon and Etzla up here up doing or a toll? Uh, it's really neat seeing a drone and cat talking to each other. I gotta flip back home and I write about it. It's official. Fairy's brain has turned to mush. She is a lost cause. We are super disowning her. Hey, let's... Let's go talk to the shop guy, or the inn, so that it... Because what I'm, what I'm thinking is we'll, we'll leave all the people who have actual dots, so that way we know we haven't talked to them, but the shop people I'll forget. When I come back, because I'm just recording this one video today, so. Next month is looking, huh, that's tight there. Fuel price hikes are really going to bite us. I wonder what your trip to Rumi Ferry would run me. Actually, you know what, let's go ahead and just finish this area. I got enough time. You've been planning that for a while, haven't you? Yep, my grandpa and his family immigrated from there some time ago. I'd love to see the country for myself. Bob as a clerk is well and good, but doesn't give me much vacation time. I'd love to go on a trip or two. Aren't you 12? Gotcha. She's a character for sure. Just gotta keep at it. Get your time in the sun one day, I'm sure. Thanks to the vote of confidence. But yeah, I wanted to go for a while now. Maybe I should give it some thought. Alrighty. Grandpa and his family immigrated from me for you quite some time ago. He did always tell us about how beautiful of a place it was, how blue the water was, how clear the glaciers were, and how he loved the people there. I really would like to go there someday. Maybe one of these summers I can plan a trip. Nope, gotta work in the bath Stepping mines. Inside? If you wanted to enjoy your childhood, you should have thought before you were born in Calvert. <sighs> That's the stuff. Or honestly, anywhere in Rumi Fairy. I mean, Z Zumaria. Maybe Rumi Fairy would do better. We don't know. Maybe they have, you know, decent quality of life. <laughs> I feel good as new. Make sure you don't catch a cold. This lady ain't heard of germ theory. I don't really hit the spot today. Saw some teenager in there too. Couldn't have been older. 15, 16. You can see the bags under his eyes. Probably preparing for entrance exams. I worry for the lad. Ozzy, I know, but I just can't help worrying about him as a neighbor. Kids like sticking it to the man at that age. Breaking the rules for the sake of breaking them. That annoying little buzzard so it drives me with the wall. This is my house. I put up with her so she can stand to put up with me. Urgh. Neither Zora nor Cord Curtis give a damn what their breadwinner thinks. Nobody does, I swear. It drives me mad. Incidentally, where has that boy run off to? I haven't seen him around lately. Whatever. Has a fry care. Yep. I can't fathom why they might just... I mean, they do seem like... I mean, the kid is kind of... He gets a slight pass because he's a child. But, I mean, you both just seem like deeply, deeply unpleasant, horrible people. 
Curtis lashed out at me. He said I was a distraction. He doesn't want me to enter his room and break his concentration. I hurt. My poor boy. Well, his grades have markedly improved as of late. Perhaps that truly is what he needed. I said if his grades fall again, he can bet I'll be back in there. Who does he think he is? Just lazing about in the living room. What a cockroach. He can prance about and bang his chest all he pleases, but he won't get so much as a glass of water from me. I don't wonder how I fell in love with the man to begin with. I mean, does Calvert have divorce, or did the Nationalist Party get rid of that shit? Because this is a situation that, that is not working. Goodness, time flies when you seek him at Jen. Before I knew it, night had already fallen. So much we need to go over, so I'll be back in there in the morning. I heard that a fellow priest visited Father Nikolai today, but I'm not sure who. Apparently he's a high-ranking father from the Grand Cathedral. What would bring someone of his stature here, I wonder? I've never been able to get a read on Father Nikolai. It's got me curious now. Just what kind of person is he? Went down the damn secret spiral staircase. In my youth, I studied under Bishop Orwell at the Edith Grand Cathedral. He has truly earned his title, junior only to the Archbishop. I deeply admire his candor and diligence. Ah, the nostalgia. Much time has passed since those wonderful days. Those experiences have shaped me into the man I am today. I have Bishop Orwell to thank for that. It was quite the troublemaker in my youth, if I could believe it. Or you could believe it. I can believe it, because it was me, Nikolai, who was the troublemaker. Bishop Orwell was right to set me straight. I often find myself nostalgic for those days. I'm a much different man now. Who's on the free time agenda? Anya's Rizet Daswani. I heard there's a man with a fierce look on his face scouring the city for a girl's toy at night as of late. It couldn't be him, dot dot dot. Suppose I should just check her. Alashkar, how's the guild work going? You said you'd be helping out with the reception and stuff? It's been great. I've been doing a lot more than I thought I would. They've been showing me how to handle requests, how to assign backup to on-site bracers, how to clean stuff. A lot of cleaning stuff, mainly. It's really cool getting to see how they all work together. Because this is their HQ in Calvert. You get to hear about what's going on across the whole country. Glad to hear it. I was kind of worried you'd find it boring, honestly. But you keep this up and you're going to be a whole new Lashkar when you come back to the village. You bet I am. I'm going to be the best cat wrangler the dang old Calvert's ever seen. What about you, Kaina? How's the whole gunsmith thing going? It certainly isn't like the smithing I've been doing. It's still very smithy, though, if that makes sense. It doesn't. It, it makes sense given Sylvie's worldview. She draws a lot of inspiration from her ancestors, too, just like me. Learned a lot about how bracers work and conduct themselves. Man, I can't wait to grow up. I'll be in the capital for a few more days. Maybe I can meet a super big bracer and talk to him about stuff. Well, we can be awfully strict, but I don't mind it. Having her correct my mistakes will make me a better artisan. For a while, I was sort of balancing old school smithing philosophy with all the new protocols and stuff for the new age machines. But gunsmiths are kind of a weird middle ground. Guns aren't cutting edge, but they're not stolen age either. Might actually be the place for me, though. If I can get good at it, I think I'll be set. This feels relaxing. Me when I'm relaxed. Thank you, Van. I'll talk to you, May, about your offer. I'm sure she'll chomp at the bit for an opportunity to take a vacation. Nah, don't sweat it. I always go the extra slug for the job you give me. Okay, okay. Three days is a bit of a long side, but I think she'll be alright. I think she's about the age for a trip like that. She can handle herself. Bastard went home, did he? There's no way, is there? Dot, dot, dot. It couldn't be him. Not a good look he's wearing. Probably best to leave him be right now. I freed up some of my time, so I thought I might help clean the kitchen. You need to get a hobby, lady. Were you discussing something about my staff? Nothing bad, uh, though. Plan on telling everyone tomorrow. This is the Van has finally gotten to the point where he's willingly adopting the children. <laughs> well, 
before he knows it, he's going to be roaming around the countryside, strapping balloons to them to take them back to Mother Base. I must say, these utensils and cutlery are very well kept. Mama keeps itself wonderfully clean. I would need to help maintain the spotless reputation. A uh, doo dee doo dee doo. Sweep it up! I think I saw that weird guy from before. Where though? Um. Oh yeah, there was a guy on the Tower of Times. He looked like him. There's something else. Sorry right, through his disguise, did you? I wish you remember what he looks like. They broke up before she was born. Um, well. He was super weird. He kept crying all the time. Why is he so sad? Loser. I hate him. I should try and cheer him up next time. Maybe he needed a pat on the back. I got rubbing salt in the wound. Can't say he didn't have it coming though. <laughs> well. Mm. Mm. Man, are we are we done? Allegedly, we are finished with the little wait. Oh, right, there's a. Uh... You nerds. Alrighty, that should pop out nicely. There's a little more over here. I'm drawing the jacket cover for Jess's new record. I wasn't sure how to make it work, but once I stopped overthinking things, the ideas just flowed right into the paper. Really coming along now? Might have it all due today. I just hope I'm not writing with a white pencil, because that would really suck if what I was drawing couldn't be seen by the mortal eye. Man, I haven't sat down and drawn since I graduated school, but it calms you right down. I do this more often. I how relaxing it was. I have to thank Jess for letting me do it. I haven't been able to make it any concerts lately, but I'm going to hit up the next one for sure. Alright, so we'll call it here next time. We'll uh, somewhat finish exploring the city. Maybe do our side quest if we have time. It'd probably take like a video and a half to... To finish all this up. Well, do we have a side quest actually? It doesn't say we do. actually have four districts to go to. Maybe we won't finish next time. Or maybe it'll be more like more like two full videos instead of a video and a half. Usually we only have like two places to go to, but we shall see. I am extra cheesy eighty seven. Stay tuned for the next next part. Bye guys.